Here are 10 things you didn't know about Pablo Picasso. 1. His full name is 23 words long. Picasso's full name is 23 words, and 103 characters long. The artist was named after various saints and relatives. He adopted his mother's surname, because he thought it suited him better. In his words, Picasso, was stranger, more resonant, than Ruiz, do you know what appealed to me about that name? Well, it was undoubtedly the doubles, which is fairly unusual in Spain. Picasso is of Italian origin, as you know. And the name a person bears or adopts has its importance, too. The midwife thought he was stillborn. Picasso was so weak after a difficult birth that the midwife thought he was stillborn. She put him on a table to attend to his mother, and Picasso's uncle, a doctor by the name of Don Salvador, revived him in an unusual fashion. Doctors at that time used to smoke big cigars, and my uncle was no exception. When he saw me lying there he blew smoke into my face. To this I immediately reacted with a grimace and a bellow of fury. 3. Picasso's first word was pencil. In true artist fashion, Picasso's first word was piz, short of lapis the Spanish word for pencil. Picasso's father Ruiz, who was an artist and art professor, gave his child a formal art education from the age of seven. By the time Picasso was 13, his father gave up painting because he felt Picasso had surpassed him in skill. 4. Picasso completed his first painting at the age of 9. In 1890, at 9 years old, Picasso completed his first painting, titled Le Picador. His first major painting was an academic painting called La Première Communion which was completed in 1896, when he was 15. 5. He was a terrible student. Although artistically he was years ahead of his classmates, who were all five or six years older than him, Picasso was often thrown into detention because he didn't like being told what to do. For being a bad student I was banished to the calaboose, a bare cell with whitewashed walls and a bench to sit on. I liked it there, because I took along a sketch pad and drew incessantly. I could have stayed there forever drawing without stopping. 6. He was brought in for questioning regarding the theft of the Mona Lisa. When the Mona Lisa was stolen in 1911, the police brought in Picasso's friend, poet Guillaume Apollinaire, for questioning. Apollinaire fingered Picasso as the culprit, which caused the police to detain the artist. Both of them were later released. 7. Picasso was buried on Monte saint victoire Picasso bought a chateau in the south of France in 1958, after discovering it lay on the slopes of Monte saint victoire a place painted more than 30 times by Cezanne. He told his agent, I have just bought myself Cezanne's mountains. 8. His iconic striped shirt is no ordinary garment. Picasso's iconic shirt is a Breton striped shirt, which in 1858 became the official uniform for French seamen in Brittany. The 21 horizontal stripes represent each of Napoleon's victories, and the continuous stripe from shirt to sleeve allows for easier spotting of sailors in the distance. Coco Chanel brought these shirts to the fashion world in 1917, and they are still very much in vogue. 9. He was a poet and a playwright. After ending his first marriage in 1935, Picasso dabbled in poetry and later wrote two surrealist plays. It was rumored that Picasso predicted he'd be known more for his poetry than his paintings. Here's a taste from his The Burial of the Count Orgaz. There did finally arrive the card announcing the festivities on Monday night and next morning at dawn there were fires and worms up every asshole and sugar palms appeared in every window. 10. He was a playboy. Here is a list of known wives and lovers of Picasso. Fernand Olivier, Picasso's first love, he was 23. Marcel Humbert. Also known as Eva Ghoul, she was 27, Picasso was 31. Gabby Lesparnas, he was 34. 
Olga Koklova, Picasso's first wife, she was 26 and he was 36 when they met. Marie Therese, she was 17, he was 46. Dora Mar, she was 29, Picasso was 55. Francois Gillet, she was 21 when she met Picasso, who was 61. Genevieve Laporte, one of Picasso's last lovers. She was in her mid-twenties and a French model of Picasso, who was in his seventies when the affair started. Jacqueline and Roque, who became Picasso's second wife. She was 27 and he was 79. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please let me know by hitting the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Have a nice day. Or night.